Okay, um, today's video is going to be addressing a serious situation um, that's happened recently in not even what t today is the 11th. 11th, this video is this thing had happened a few days just a few days ago. This was on the 6th when this happened. As, as you guys know from the title of this video, this is six given life imprisonment for Facebook posts. This is in India. This is a case in India. Uh, here, let me read it to you. Three sick men under the age of 30 have been sentenced to life terms in prison in India based on Facebook posts and reading books, according to UK-based international humanitarian aid charity Sick Relief. Arvinder Singh, age 29, Surjit Singh, 27, both of Punjab, and Ranjit Singh, age 29, of Haryana, were convicted on the 31st of January and sentenced on the 5th of February. Indian media allege the sentencing is based on first-of-its-kind cases, where the accused have been sentenced on recovery of incriminating literature and not any ammunitions, ammunitions of an act of violence. These three things here got arrested and have been given life imprisonment for Facebook posts and reading books. You've got to be joking me. This exists. Sick Relief, through their sick organization of prisoner welfare, have over a decade of experience in working to ensure sick detainees of the Indian government receive fair and due process, a task focused on due to the well-known human rights breaches that are common within the Indian judicial process, especially for minorities such as the Sikhs in India who make up less than 2% of the national population. Via social media, Sikh Relief, who are the only organization providing legal support and welfare to the three accused, stated Sikh sentenced to life imprisonment for allegedly waging war against the three unions against the Union States of India by Facebook posts and reading books. How is this not a world recognized issue? Will the international community simply continue to watch and offer no condemnation? Balbir Singh Bans, chairman of Sikh Relief or SOPW, which is Sikh Organization of Prisoner Welfare, further added, We are shocked at the dangerous precedent that has been set by this judgment and the wider implications it has on the basic freedom of speech and expressions of Sikhs across India. Our defense council, led by uh, I don't know what the ADV stands for, my apologies, if somebody can comment down below what that means. Uh, Rajvinder Singh Bans alongside Sarujit Singh Bans and Kulvinder Kaur will be filing an appeal at High Court imminently. There's also a press release for this, um, for the chairman. But why is this happening? Like, you're tar this, India's been targeting six for the past centuries for like many centuries since Guru Nanak Dev Ji started Kirt Karo Van Shako and Nam Japo why is this happening like there's nothing else that could happen but instead we're getting this the Sikh calm needs more man Sikh calm is the biggest thing right now and over here in India we're just getting these things oh yo they just got arrested and now are being are gonna are have been sentenced to life in prison over facebook posts evidence recovered from interrogation and searches include 10 books on operation blue star the notorious indian government attack on the sick holy site of shri hermander side according to six siyasat a court statement on the conviction published by indian media claimed from the material on record, common intention and object which brought the accused together could be easily gathered from the documentary evidence such as books, literature, 
pam uh, pamphlets which are seized from them for which they have offered no objectionable. They have kept the aforesaid material with them with the intention of using same for propaganda and inciting people to resort to violence with the objective of waging war against the government of India to establish an independent state slash nation by the name of Khalistan. Okay, yes, six want Khalistan, but there's there's no point in doing it through war. With war, you're not going to get anywhere. Both sides are going to have, it's going to be a lose-lose situation. No one's going to win, no one's going to, and both of the sides are going to lose. Waging war is not how we're going to get Khalistan. With the reverence of Sikh history and Shaheeds, also known as Sikh martyrs, and, um, if because Shaheeds is a Punjabi word, being an integral part of the Sikh faith, alongside the fact that belief, that belief in and support for Khalsa Raj, a rule of the Khalsa initiated by Sikhs, is a mandated philosophy of the Sikhs and its first of a kind ruling has prompted an outcry of concern from the international Sikh community as yet further evidence of issues Sikh face, Sikhs face at the hands of the Indian government. Why is this even happening? This shouldn't be happening, man. You can't just do this and be like, oh, yo. So we found books on Operation Blue Star. And there's Facebook posts of these, these things saying that we're going to wage war against the Indian government. Yes, we want Khalistan. We had full rights to Khalistan back in 1947. But we decided to join India because our leaders at the time for the Sikh, uh, Sikh Qom weren't smart. I'm saying that. They were not making the smart moves. They decided to join in with Hindustan, sorry, India, and become brothers. We don't even get a proper recognition in Indian government documents that we're even six. We're just part of the Hindu religion. Uh, a few years ago, I've, I, I mentioned this as a tweet, like six are not a section of the Hindu religion. Six is an entirely different calm, is a whole nother religion. We're not the religion that believes in 33 million gods or some shit. We believe in one god, which is Ekonkar. Which is Sachipatsha, the almighty Wahiguru. And then this is happening in India, man. In our home country. As a Canadian, as a, ma as a, as a uh, person who's lived in Canada all his life, I, I, haven't, I haven't spent enough time in India to know how it feels to be a Sikh in India. To know what Kharku Singhs are going through now. What they were going through in 1984. Um, 1984 was the worst time for a Singh. Over... A hundred thousand Singhs, a hundred thousands of Singhs and Singhnis attained martyrdom because they kept their faith. They didn't attain Hinduism. Hindus killed us in our own state. Punjab police, Punjab police was full of Sikhs. They killed Sikhs. They wrapped our Singhs in tires and burned them alive. And, and then you're like, th and then this is happening and it's not even, it's not even being recognized as a really big issue. This is the biggest thing I've ever seen. And I hate that this is happening. This is why I'm covering it here on YouTube. Cause I highly doubt that there is even a single video on all throughout YouTube internationally that covers this story. And I want us to bring that out cause this is up. This is the most disgusting thing I've seen. I'm trying so hard to find 
words that can even describe what I read a few days ago. I read this a few days ago. I've been waiting to do this video since I never had time. I've been out. But this is happening. Like, what the actual shit, man? You can't do this. India thinks it can. And India's gonna keep on doing it. J uh, by Juggy, um, I, f I forgot his name, but he's in prison still. He celebrated his, he celebrated his second birthday in prison. This is his, like, not, his, he's not two years old, but his second birthday in a prison. He hasn't even seen his family for two years, man. Just, hashtag justice for Juggy is still going on. Juggy's case is still going on. They're not letting him out. Man is a Scottish sick. He had nothing to do with India. I'm going off track. This is an issue that these things are being sentenced to life in prison over Facebook posts and a tanner box on Operation Blue Star. You've got to be joking me. This is disgusting.